Hey everybody, it is Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Tor Tower of Torghast, uh, which was, is being tested in Alpha Shadowlands right now. Uh, I do not have Alpha. I will continue to apologize for that in my uh, videos about the Alpha, uh, but there's nothing I can do about that. I can hope that I get an invite on, an, on a second round of invites, or uh, if they do do that indeed. Uh, but other than that, there's nothing else I can do. I can only watch other people play it and uh, read articles about it. And I'm super hyped for Torghast. Uh, I also just want to say real quick, I do encourage you to watch other people um, uh, doing uh, the alpha of Shadowlands in general. Not only Tower Torghast, but everything. And especially giving a chance to maybe some smaller content creators uh, during this time. Because uh, during an alpha is as good a time as any. To check out some new people so I do want to encourage that anyways let's go ahead and get into uh, the Tower of Torghast and Alpha because I'm super excited about it uh, so I was watching some videos of people playing through it uh, at, at least at the time there's only four classes unlocked uh, for it so far and it is absolutely amazing and pretty much everything I hoped it would be uh, it, it almost had a feel of like World of Warcraft combined with like um, a Diablo or Path of Exile or, you know, like one of these these solo games like where you gain abilities as you go and get stronger. And like like in Path of Exile, for example, you have like this limitless talent tree. It almost gave me a feel of that in some certain ways, only obviously only the big abilities and not all the, you know, little strength, intelligence, agility stuff in between. Uh, but it's, so let's just get into what it is, I guess, real quick. So Tower Torghast is a uh, one to five player dungeon that is like infinitesimally long. Uh, you go levels up and up and up and up this tower and goes on basically forever. I believe supposedly it goes on forever. Maybe they will have an end. I'm not sure on that. But from what I've read, it goes on forever because it just generates harder and harder difficulty as you go up. Uh, and I'm guessing it just like randomly generates names of NPCs and stuff as you go up. So... You start off at just like your normal character level, you get to choose like an ability, an extra ability, and the stuff in there will be pretty hard to kill. As you go through though, you're going to gain more and more powers. Uh, so like when you fight the elites, um, or fight a special thing, or you, you find something hidden uh, in the tower, you have a chance to get a new ability, and you'll you'll make choices. So it'll be there is some RNG on it, which isn't great, but there'll be a choice. So I'm just going to use... Uh, just a general example instead of like making it because every class is going to be different they're largely class based abilities which is kind of cool too uh, giving your class some meaning there uh, so let's just say one of them gives you an absurd amount of health like a 60% increase to health because that is one that I saw and another one like buffs one of your abilities damage by 100% so that would be a choice to make in that case both of those are pretty good choices right so you either choose the defensive one or the the damage one depending what you wanted to do and as you go you can just continue to build one way like pure damage you can build pure defensive um you can do a mixture of both you can buff one particular move as much as you can like if you're a demon hunter just for an example if you could just buff your eye beam over and over again uh, to do more and more damage that'd be kind of cool um uh just it's just really freaking cool and now also as you're going you can find chests and I'm not sure if you can get these by defeating enemies too but you find legendary components to craft your legendary so if you don't know there's gonna be craft legendaries in uh, Shadowlands and how you craft them is through the Tower of Torghast so you'll collect these components and then eventually you'll be able to craft these legendaries with the components um, there's also like random vendors in there that you can uh, upgrade powers with as well. Uh, I don't know if it's an ability or if it's a natural thing, but you can loot the bodies for this special currency. And with that currency, you can actually target a specific ability that you want through these vendors that are on every so many floors uh, or levels of the Tower of Torghast. So that's just another way to enhance your abilities through that way. There are traps in here. There's chests, like I said, that you could find legendary components and probably other things in them. Uh, but there's traps, there's hidden things. It's all kinds of things that aren't that are in WoW actually, but people kind of forget about because it's more of a, a very classic leveling experience in, in WoW terms. So one thing I like to do uh, when I'm leveling is I like to actually like go through and do some of the quests. And uh, in some zones, I know like where a lot of the treasure chests are, so I like to go in there. Maybe I'll get something rare out of the treasure chest. You know, uh, it has a little bit of that component in it for me. Now I'm sure there's better examples for it than that. Like one thing, like maybe like a Diablo or something like that, where you 
or uh, Path of Exile, you destroy um, some pots and like, oh, a legendary item popped out of it. You know, there's that component to it. And I'm sure there's like a better, uh, I don't play a wide range of games, so I'm sure there's like a better example. But for me, it's like when I find uh, a chest in a, in a questing zone and it ends up having like a item worth like 10,000 gold in it on my alt, right? And I'm like, oh, cool, 10,000 gold for my alt. That is freaking sweet. And, you know, that they had that kind of element to it when I'm watching the video. Uh, so it was nice to feel that excitement because uh, at endgame content, I normally don't. They don't have that kind of thing in endgame content. The closest thing would be getting a BOE drop in a raid. Um, like right now, getting like an infinite stars <laughs> BOE drop uh, in a raid would be like the, the similar feeling, I guess. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm super excited for it. I'll try to keep the video a little bit short since I don't even have footage of it. Uh, but I'm super excited about it. And I am also, I guess, super bummed because I would love more than anything to be testing out Tower of Torghast. That's all I would do when it was live or whatever. I think someone said it like was live for two hours at one point. I would have just uh, spammed it for two hours straight because I love solo content. Wow, I'm still going to... I raid uh, Mythic Raider. Uh what does that even mean? Uh, I, I I mythic I raid on mythic with my guild uh, two nights a week. That's what, that's what we're a two night a week guild. So we're our casual. I'm not trying to like brag that I'm a mythic raider, but um, uh, so I like raiding with people. That's I like playing with 19 other people. But I also really like doing stuff solo content. So um, uh, so th this is just amazing to me. Everything looks great so far. Let's hope that they do make whatever improvements the people in alpha are noticing they need to make and just come out with this perfect product. Uh, for Shadowlands. So, uh, like I said, uh, please check out other smaller channels that have alpha right now. I would appreciate that. I'd also, of course, appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And other than that, everybody have a good one.